Hello everyone, Jude here from Tech Office Software. In this tutorial today, we shall be learning the beginner's basics on Google Slide. The first thing we are going to do is to make sure that we are connected online. Then we'll come to Google Home page to these nine dots here. Then we'll press on it to open up. As it has opened up, we will scroll down until we find slides then we'll press on the slide to open up the google slide home page the google slide has opened up at the top you can see the premier templates and then the blank template and if you have any previous presentation you will see it here that's why i said no presentation yet to create a presentation, you can use any of the premier templates or you just open up the blank template. So we we'll press on the blank template to open up. Now we have our own new presentation. In Google Slide, because you are online, all changes to your presentation are saved automatically. The presentation are saved in the cloud. The first thing we are going to do is to give a name to our presentation. So we we'll come up here at the top left and give a name to this presentation. Let's just call it Presentation 1. Either click Enter to save it or you just click away. If you notice when I click it, it's save, saved on the cloud. If you have any presentation you want to import from your computer you come to the file here file menu you tap on it then you select import slides when you are through with your presentation and want to download it you come also to file then to download from here you select the format you want to download your slide you can download it as a microsoft powerpoint or odp document you can as well publish your slide on the web at the top is the menu bar this is the menu bar under the menu bar we have the toolbar this is the toolbar they are the different tools available for you to use at the moment. To add a new slide, you press this plus button here and a new slide will be automatically added to you. If you want to make a choice on the type of slide, you click this drop down arrow here beside the plus sign. Then from here, you can make choice on the type of slides you want. Let's say we just choose this one you can rearrange the position of your slide just click the slide on the thumbnail area hold down and then you take it to the position you want it to be you can also delete any slide to do this select the slide you want to delete right click on it then from the drop down select delete and it is deleted now let us add content to this slide if you want to add text we first select text box which is this t here tap on it we we'll come down to our slide we right click and we we'll drag to create a text box now we can add text on the text box so we have added the first text to the text box we can edit the text from the toolbar above we highlight the text first then we can bold the text we can use italic on the text we can underline the text we can add text color 
we can highlight the text background we can change the, the size of the text we can increase it and it will increase we can change the font we are on Arial. we can decide to use lobster to insert an image we we'll come to the image icon here we we'll press it then from the drop down we we'll select whether we want to upload from our computer from the web google drive from our photo add url link or from camera so let's start a tab from search from the web then a search option is provided then i put in dog i select this white one here then i tap on insert it has inserted a dog for us the image can be resize you hold this handle here then you can resize the image then you can as well move the image move the image by clicking on it from the handle here you can then move it to any position you want another thing you can do is to click these three dots here from here you can select format option format option has been opened by the side from here you can select the size rotate the image you can reduce the width size the height we can scale it then you can as well decide the position you want things to be to be at the top left or to be at the center whichever one you want let's close this pane shapes also can be added to the presentation to do this you click the shapes icon up here from this drop down you select the type of shapes you want or you want arrows call out equation whatever you want let us just select this shape then we we'll come down we we'll right click drag for the shape to appear you can add text to this shape you can add weight to the border of the shape and you can border dash the shape let us come to the second slide tables also can be added to the slide to do this you come to the insert menu here then from the drop down you select table and then select the size of your table 4x4 four four. it has added to the slide you can resize the height and width of the table as you like it you can resize it we can take it to any position we want we can put a name to the title here we can as well right here you can format the table as you want you can put borders you can delete you can copy it and paste it you can insert a row above or below you can do just so many things and you can even merge the cells let's add a new slide we click the drop down arrow we select blank template you can add shots to your slide to do this come to the insert menu from here you select chart you select the type of chart you want i want to use column then a chart has been added to our slide you can resize the chart if you want you can move it to any position you want to make changes to the chart you come to the top right here of the chart you click the drop down from here you select open source then it will open the source of the chart as you can see 
it has opened up Google Sheets for us, which is the source. So from here, you can make changes to the chart. We are back to Google Slide. From the slide menu here, you can add new slide. You can duplicate the existing slide. You can delete slide. You can change the slide background. So let's say we want to change the background of this slide. It's white. So we choose this, then done. We have applied it to this very slide. Let's change the background of this one. You can undo anything you have done. We have undo it. Then we can as well redo it again. We can cut, copy, paste any of the slides. We can delete them depending on what we want to do. And when we want to do that, you come to the edit menu. From the file, we can rename and we can move it to another place. The view gives us different view options. We can view grid view and we can view full screen. We can insert image from the insert option. We can insert video diagrams. You can as well add animation to a slide. To do this, let's add a new slide. Let's select blank slide. Then we'll click on shape. So take this shape. The shape is selected. We click on animate on the toolbar. Then a pane has been opened for us. We can see here that it said none. That means no animation has been added. We can delete the shape we added here. We can choose the type of animation we want. Let's say we select to fly in from the left. From here, select whether we want it on click after the previous or before the previous. So we select on click, decide the speed of the animation. So you can see it enters slowly from the left. So come out, we press stop and we are out. You can add multiple animation to the shape. Then we select another animation. From here, we select fly out from the right. We check the speed. Let's add background to this slide. Done. Let's close this pane. You can also apply transition to the slide. To do this, you come to the transition at the two bar. Click on it. You can see it says none. You tap the drop down arrow select what you want let's say we choose a fade then we apply to all slides we come to the top of the google slide by the right hand click on present so you can see so to come out of the slide you use the escape key you can add hyperlink to your slide. Do this, you highlight where you want to put the hyperlink. Then you come to the hyperlink option here. You select whether you are going to get a link from outside. This is a website or you can link it to previous slide or slide one. So that means you have linked the slide one you can share your slide with others by clicking the share button here then you put the email of the person you want to share it to here or you can create a link and click this change to anyone with the link so here is the link once i copy this link and give it to anyone anyone with this link can have access this slide because it's on the cloud so you can access it from your laptop from your desktop from your handset then you can decide what the viewers can do whether they can be viewers only whether they can be comment commenters or they can edit slides 
let's click done and come out of here so we have come to the end of our google slide tutorial today thank you for watching this tutorial like the video if you get some value from it subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so so that youtube will notify you once i drop a new video see you in the next video